Good to go. Thank you. Sorry, my screen's a little delayed. Can everyone hear me? Yep, you're good. All right, welcome everyone. It is the March 8th, 2022 meeting of the Weathersfield Historic District Commission. For those of you who have not been here before, tonight's session is composed of two parts, the public hearing and the public meeting. In the public hearing, we ask each applicant in turn to come forward and explain their application in detail. This will give us, give us an opportunity to clarify what you are proposing to do and for you to ask us any questions. Bear with me one second. Uh, also, commissioners may voice an opinion or suggestion based on their own feelings. However, a vote is not taken until the public meeting following the public hearing. In the public meeting, which is not open to public comment, we will deliberate your application and decide how to act on it. We may approve it, approve it with stipulations, table it for further consideration, or in rare cases, we may deny it. You are welcome to stay for the public meeting, but need not do so. The results of tonight's meeting will be available from the Weathersfield Building Department tomorrow morning at 860-721-2839, anytime after 9 a.m. Please be advised that the Historic District Commission approval does not preclude the need for any other required permits, such as zoning, inlands, wetlands, and building. Please contact the building department to review any other permits that may be required before you begin your project. With this, I'll ask our clerk, Commissioner Lyons, to read the legal notice. Thank you. Legal notice, Town of Weathersfield Historic District Commission. The Weathersfield Historic District Commission will hold a virtual public hearing on Tuesday, March 8th, 2022 at 7.30 p.m. on the following applications seeking a certificate of appropriateness. Application 7024-22, Philip M. Rukier, seeking to install 18 Harvey Majesty double hung replacement windows in black color, also replace front steps with granite steps at 112 Church Street. Application 7025-22, renewal by Anderson, seeking to replace siding, patio door, with 200 series perma shield two panel gliding door and teratone or dark bronze color at 183 Spring Street. Application 7026 22, John and Sandra Jaskowski seeking to replace windows in home with Anderson 400 series tilt wash double hung windows at 15 Robinswood Drive. Application 7027-22, Michael Lucan seeking to construct Sunport's addition with glass roof and Anderson 400 series windows on rear of home using current deck footprint at 362 Middletown Ave. Any resident interested in reviewing an application, speaking on an application, and anyone wishing to listen to the meeting should email HDC comments at weathersfieldct.gov or call 860-721-2836 by 4 p.m. on the night of the meeting. Please include your name, phone number, and address in the correspondence. Town of Weathersfield Historic District Commission, Kim Wolf, duly authorized, dated at Weathersfield, Connecticut, this 18th day of February, 2022. Thank you very much, Commissioner Lyons. Um, tonight, for the record, we have, we're missing full members, uh, Kathleen and Claire Mead. So both Vasek and Chris Hall will be able to vote tonight. Correct? Yes. So we'll jump right into it. Application number 7024, the application for 112 Church Street. Uh, am I supposed to speak? Yes. Can you yes. I'm, a little, I'm a little new to this, so you have to be a little patient with me. That's okay. If you're the homeowner, identify yourself um, with your I name am. and address. My name is Philip, uh, Philip Rukier. I live at 410 Church Street. Um, I look for a winter project for my guys. I'm in construction and this house came upon us to uh, be refurbished. Okay, is the homeowner with us today too? I am the homeowner. Oh, you are, okay, great. Excellent, tell us what you're proposing to do. Well, the, uh, the, the, they have the original sashes in the window that, which they are all, all rotted out. I did a little bit of homework and it seems that this is new to me. I did some new construction in town in Old Weathersfield and it seems to be a unit that the, uh, the commission seems to um, find suitable for replacement. So this is, these are the units that I'm looking to replace with. And the house is red, it's going to stay red, but we're gonna accent some of the woodwork with black. And that's why we chose to do it black exterior with a wood interior finish, a metal clad on the outside. 
But um, so that would be the reason we're going in that direction. The uh, front stairs, as you can see in the photo, are totally rotted out. The house probably to the west on the corner that the tree went through on garden and church. I installed those granite stairs, sake of argument, 10, 11 years ago. And um, I would like to do the same here to stay away from the wood. So, I mean, uh, they are, I have installed them in other houses in Old Weathersfield, and I think they are very appropriate for the uh, community. I did propose a brick sidewalk with uh, Mrs. Wolf Kim told me that um, th that was no need to, uh, because it's at ground level, I will be coming out with a brick sidewalk out from the, the stairs to the road. That's correct. And we don't regulate that on residential property. So let's talk about the windows first. Um, okay. You are proposing, well, what we have for a picture has a two over two light division as opposed to what's already there which looks like eight over one. There might be some uh, other I, divisions I, I, and other I, I, places. I, I'm sorry, I didn't actually send a photo. I, I'm gonna reproduce it. It seems to be eight over one. And I think maybe in um, uh, some of them on the smaller, it might be six, but I'm going to replace with the same look that, that is there right now, the eight over one is what I'm gonna propose on the, on the windows of the house. And the number that you cited that you're looking to replace, is that all of the windows in the entire house, except yeah, for the porch yeah. windows? Yeah, yeah, the porch windows, I did a little bit of investigating. And if you look around the neighborhood, they are the, from the infill between the columns on the corner and the lights on the front by the front door, they're not original. You could see by the fixtures and the way they're mounted inside. The, the uh, I'm not sure how to do a pointer, but if you point at the plywood, between the columns, that is not original. And, you are 100% correct. Yeah, and and the, and the wood framing is two by framing on the uh, storm windows, which some houses have them done nicer. And the other, some of the houses um, do, do not have any storm windows at all. So I'm proposing to get rid of them completely and have an open porch. Because okay, they're, so they're, they're not original. Not, that's not part of the application that you brought tonight. Okay, so then I'm just going for the original windows on the house. I'm not replacing the ones on the porch. I'm, I would like to get rid of them. Sure. I think that's probably a discussion for another night since it wasn't noticed on this application. But okay. um, you may be able to find some older photos of your house through the historic uh, historical society okay. um, or maybe even from some neighbors. And okay. so um, if you were to come in looking to restore it to what it originally looked like, that would certainly meet some happy response okay. from the commissioners. I know, I know it's not part of the application, but you can see the light fixtures that are just dangling on the front. It does have a, a ceiling mounted light inside, which to me it was original, but I will come back for another application as long as I can uh, move forward with the windows in some direction that would be helpful uh, because of the lead time. And I can come back to porch is not holding me up on anything. So Phil, what are you gonna do with that center window in the second story center? The center window, we're gonna just refinish and put back in. And we don't have, I'm not sure if you have a side view of the house. The house has a bump out yep. with a couple um, diamond shaped windows. Uh -huh. It would be on the uh, on opposite the driveway side. And so what are you doing with those? I'm just gonna refinish those because so, uh, I can't, buy those. So I'm going to just turn around and refinish those in a bump out right there. They're, they're, they have a diamond shape, not uh, they're behind the bushes. Yep. I'm not sure if you keep turning that, but there's two windows that are, uh, they actually open out like a, like an awning, like a, uh, a, a crank out window. The ones that are facing the road will match with stair. They will be replaced. But the ones that would be directly east of the bump out, they have a diamond shape and we're just going to scrape and repaint those. Sashes. The Polaroid picture has a great view of it, Kim, from the 70s. The field car or the, you know, the Polaroid picture. Right. Can you bring that up, Kim? The field card. You, you can see it and you can see in the top photo, there's some diamond shape. 
glass and we're just going to sand those and refinish them. Yeah, they're very pretty. Yes. Why, wow. yes. why not sand and refinish all of them? Why don't I, because of the sashes are, are, are to, this house has been neglected for 20 years. The sashes are, are completely rotted out. The, the panes are, the minute you touch them, the panes fall right out of them. So um, I, I think it would be energy wise and efficient to update them to a, a new window. They are, they're totally rotted out and to, uh, um, to, refin to, to refurb them refurbish them, I think it would be um, um, probably not a wise move energy wise. Um, we are doing an extensive amount of work inside. We're doing some insulation. I know it doesn't affect you, but we are trying to make the house a little bit more energy efficient also. Heating system, etc. I know that's not part of the commission, but just give you an idea of where we're going with it. So those are the original windows? Yes. And the sashes are shot, but the window frames. Um, the, the, the window frames the are, me, are fine. The, the trim around the window seems to be in good shape. The tracks, the tracks, I guess uh, that they they slide on, uh, seem to be in, in in good shape. But the bottom of the sashes and the very top of the sashes of the double pane of the double hung are are really are completely rotted out. And the panes are solid. Eh, some of them have plexiglass in them. The, the the ones that with the full light have plexiglass around the back of the house. The the one of the eight of the panes is uh, they're falling out. They're missing. They have plastic. But up on on the second floor of the dormer right there, they actually have plexiglass in the bottom sash. Okay. So and we will not be touching any of the casings on the outside of the house at all, or the siding. With the change of the stairs, are you going to be required um, to put railings up now? Yes, I will. Then do you have any um, plans? I did not propose that because the uh, until I, the porch needs to be jacked up to a proper height and, and I adjust the grade in the front yard, then I'll come back and say, I need a handrail for four steps, five steps. I'm not sure because the porch is, is sagging down right now. So when we get it back level again, I'll know if whether I'm going to have three risers or four risers, and then I'll come before you again to tell you exactly what I'm going to do for a handrail and how many, you know, what it's going to look like. Okay. Does anyone else have any questions for the applicant? Well, how yeah, many I windows? Think... Go, Go ahead. ahead. There's 18, how many... 18 windows will we be getting replaced? The only windows that um, have been eliminated, it would be on the side of the bump out, is in the kitchen remodeling, is that's where the stove is going now. So if we go back to that window that's behind the bump out, there's, you can actually see an image of a sash back there. That has been eliminated, yes, because the stove is going in that, on that wall. It's been eliminated by the prior person or your request? No, well, I'm waiting for the commission to, to eliminate it. So I could put the stove there in my in my kitchen remodeling. I have a permit pulled for a kitchen and bathroom remodeling, and um, that's where we'd like to put the stove. Okay, so that's not included in the application either. You actually want to eliminate a window entirely. Oh, all right. I didn't know. I didn't know. I, I didn't know I had to do that. I thought um, I didn't realize I had to. I had to uh, to 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 apply for that. I'm sorry. So 18 windows. Would removing. not include the one I just spoke about. Right. And the two that are on that bump out facing the east they, side. They, they will be, they're in pretty good shape. I haven't tried to swing them open yet because that also, the uh, columns underneath there were all rotted out. And we just, in the last couple of days, poured a couple of new concrete sauna tubes to jack that up because inside the house, the floor is sagging on that side. So I haven't tried to open them yet because I don't until I get that floor and that bump out level, which weather permitting will be in the next couple of days now that we poured a couple of new sauna tubes. And then the, the one in the, on the front of the house in the middle, that's gonna stay? Yes, we're gonna floor? refinish that also, yes. 
And now the window, is that a window in, in the peak above the bump out? The, the window facing, I guess, would be the, the front of the house, the south side, down low in the bump out, you're saying? Yeah, but all the way to, all the way into the peak. That's a vent. Okay. That's a louver for the attic. Oh, no, no excuse me. That's a window. That, that one we refinished also. I just, I know it's a window because I got birds coming in and out of it. <laughs> there you go. All right. So that's going to be refinished. That's going to be refinished also because I can't, I, I don't, I don't want to reproduce that. And that'll just, um, that'll, that'll be original because I don't think I'll be able to match the panes style. Okay. Vasek, anything else? Th those two windows that we're concerned about, the one that's uh, in the middle of the uh, dormer facing the front and the upper ones are fixed glass. Okay. Jen, I have a quick question. It, yep. It's probably gonna resolve uh, when he does get that porch up, but Mr. Ruggie, you showed the stairs on the church and garden that I believe are three granite slabs. Is that right? Yeah. So you're not quite sure yet. You said, how, how are you gonna adjust? Cause that quite a different in elevation that this home now Shows I, I lost that. the photo. I lost the photo. To, uh, unless you guys took them down. No, that's that's okay. You, you showed it. We got okay. it here. So so, what's your idea? You have thicker slabs. Thicker slab where? So how how are you going to manage? Again, you still don't know because you have to level it off. I understand. On the railing that. right now. The, right now the no no not the railing. Let's let's back. Up. I'll start again for you. So you, you showed three slab. There are three slabs on that. The the tornado house, as we call it, right? That I, I used it more for a product reference, more than actually the actual. I just wanted to. All right, here, let me finish this, Ruki. Okay, maybe I, I have a difficult time sometimes. People thought so. The height of that, you're not quite sure yet because you have to level the porch. You said so. You don't know how and many level, slabs you're going to need. Level the porch in, in the existing front walk is lower than the front yard. Okay, yeah, I didn't finish yet though. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so, so obviously that's a higher elevation to get into that home than the garden than the corner garden and church is that accurate yes sir so you're talking about some height to get up to this the floor to enter that home there you you what, what are you estimating that how many slabs are you going to thicker risers or thicker slabs or how, how do you accommodate no, instead sir, of having I, eight of them up there or how are you going to take an educated guess it would be one more step more than the one in the photo that's all. Right now exactly. you're showing two steps and a platform. In the so other are those floor. 10 inches or they're 12 inch? What's the width? They're, they're seven and a half inch rise. Seven and a half inch they're rise. 12 inches think... in, they're 12 inches in depth, except for the platform. And you think you can get away with the four there? You're going to, you're breaking the grade up yeah. to it or you're bringing yeah. the, I, I, I believe so. Away, right? Okay. I believe so. So Great. four rises is plus or minus 32 inches and a seven inch step into the porch. That gives me almost 40 inches to play with. Okay. When you say except for the slab, are you talking about like a um, plat? I'm sorry, except for the platform, is there going to be a platform at the top of that in addition to the? No, step? it will be all. It will be all steps going into the house. It will be all the twelve landing inch area. Into the house. Like, yeah, it will be all twelve inch steps. I just use that for a product reference. I'm sorry. Oh no, no, that's fine. No, I mean, like you said, you've done quite a few that look great. Yeah. It's, it's just that this one seems like it's so much higher than the, the Garden Street. Uh, well, if we go back, you'll see the front walkway is probably about seven or eight inches below the lawn, and we don't want puddling and ice. Right. So by the time right. I get to there and I pitch it towards the, the city sidewalk. Right. You're going to grab some elevation there. You're grading it towards, right, to this road. Mm -hmm. but, okay. Yes, Be sir. interesting to see that. Yeah. If you go back to the front photos of the house, that the existing house, you'll see the front walkway is pretty sunk in from in comparison to the lawn. Great. Anyone else have any questions for this applicant? Hearing none, is there anyone here from the public wishing to speak in favor against this application? Thank you, Phil, for coming in. Um, we'll move on to application 7025, the application for 183 Spring Street. Good evening. Hi there. Name evening. and address for the record, please. Is Adam Nowakowski? with Renewal by Anderson. And your business address? 
the I'm sorry, uh, 800 Corporate Drive in Cromwell, Connecticut. Okay. What are you proposing today? So in that proposal, I believe you guys should have the picture. It's a condo built in the 70s or 80s. It's a three-panel aluminum sliding glass door. We're basically replacing it in kind looks, but using our Permashield 200 series. Be a center operating door with two fixed lights on the side of it. In Terratone and or dark bronze, whatever the condo approves, I believe it's gonna be a dark bronze. Kim, we don't have a um, plot plan that shows us where this unit is, do we? It is all the way in the back on the side. Is, is there's no real street view. No, I'm saying in the um, application material. No, because um, it was later than the uh, property record cards. Gotcha. All right, so we've got the picture that you just brought up though, so I appreciate that. And I do have a proposal picture, if you want me to share my screen of what we'd be replacing it with, just not the right color, but at least the look of it. Phil's house. Right next door. And these windows um, or type been used, Sliding been used, have they been used successfully in this complex before? We have not done business in this complex before, and they're sliding glass doors, not the windows. That's what I mean. Sorry. It's yeah. okay. All right, I just wonder if there was something that maybe you looked at that was done before and you were trying to replicate that, but you're starting from scratch. I haven't seen an application for these units before. I don't, Chris, have you? No. no. Yeah. Adam, you can share your screen. Thank you. Trying to find my permission to share. There it is, share screen. So that is the look that it would be. Center operating fixed on either side of it. But obviously not in white, it'd be the dark bronze. Thank you very much. Does anyone else have any questions for this applicant? Hearing none, thank you for coming in. Any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against this? Hearing none, we'll move on to application 7026, the application for 15 Robins Wood Drive. I'm going to abstain from this application. Um, Mr. Raymond, if you'd take over. Okay. Well, I didn't know we were going to be doing this. Give me just a second to. Uh, oh, I, I apologize, Mark. I sent an email, but I thought I didn't confirm with you. No worries. <clears throat> okay. Uh, application number 7026 22. Correct. John and Sandra Jazowski. Good evening, Commissioner. Good. Good evening. Uh, yeah, uh, project entails. Um, replacing the current existing windows with Anderson series 400s. Um, they're simulated divided light. And uh, I believe uh, Sandra, my wife, dropped off a sample of the glass pane with the spacers in it um, uh, earlier this week or last week. Uh, just yesterday. Oh, sorry, yesterday. Okay, so. yesterday. Yep. Um, the uh, project is starting in the back of the house with uh, a build out of a, uh, uh, pardon? Not a build out. Uh, yeah, not a build out. It's a transformation, a renovation inside. And we're going to be putting, we're going to start there and replace all the windows in the house with the same. Uh, the con our contractor is Tim Raich, a uh, home builder, currently 35 Nye Road in Glastonbury. He's traveling this evening, so not able to be here. 
Okay. Uh, we'll answer any questions that you folks might have. Um, the architect, by the way, was Gary Vivian, uh, who's done quite a bit of work uh, in town in the historic district, as you know. We're very familiar with Gary's work. Yep. Any commissioners with any questions? So the existing storms are going away? Pardon? The existing storm windows are going to go away? Yeah, because um, the, the 400 series are double paned, um, simulated divided light. Yeah. It won't be necessary. Okay. And the screens are half screens? Uh, half. Uh, we're, that's actually something that we were in between right now, deciding if we should go whole or half. We weren't. We weren't aware that uh, the bug screen, I, I believe you call it. Insect. Yeah, insect screen, thank you. If that was um, a necessary part to make a decision beforehand. You Anderson, the OEM Anderson windows have uh, that option, either half or full screen. Do you have a preference? Um, half? Keep, keep in mind. We've gone back and forth about it. Yeah, we've changed a lot. <laughs> um, what lets more light in, but what's more practical? Right. Um, so we presently have half. Correct. Half. Yeah. Right. Half so, keep, so keep in mind, unless you're, unless you're dedicated to uh, central air all summer, when the weather is good, if you have a Full screen, you can drop the top of the top sash and raise the right. bottom sash and get good ventilation. Yeah. If you yeah. half screen, if you do that, you get you let the bugs in. Right. Yep. yep. <laughs> Which we certainly don't want to do. Exactly. No, not in old Weathersfield. No, right. we do not. <laughs> so likely mm -hmm. we would be would end up doing a full screen, which was the recommendation of our contractor. And okay. And the color of the proposed windows, I believe is tan. Yeah, it's actually the a color sandstone. It's called sandstone. Okay. And, and um, Vasek, we actually have some questions around that. I know um, typically color is not a parameter. Is that correct or is does it that, play a role not, in the decision? It, that is it, correct if you're applying the color. If the color comes pre-applied and the, basically if the tension is they will never be painted, they will never yeah. change color, then we do control color. Gotcha. Okay. So if you're putting on say, for example, vinyl siding, nobody paints vinyl siding, we reserve the right to uh, control the color on that. Okay. Uh, if it was a wood window and you were painting it, then you would be free to paint it whatever color suits your fancy because you can always go back and say, oh my God, that was a horrible mistake. I'm just going to slap another coat of paint on it. Mm. Right. You're never going to do that with these windows. Right. Right. The 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 I think the concept was that we were trying to get some definition around, you know, the dark brown kind of house of mm. seven gables look and um, not not go like a yellow, but the sandstone was kind of like a tan, right? Not too. Mm. Yellow would be very interesting. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a house down the road that. No, I'll, that, I'll so. pass. <laughs> trying I, to I, it's a lighter brown is what we're trying to do. I, mm -hmm. I do think a darker window was probably the intention of the original design because it seems to me to replicate an older house that would have been painted that way. That's just my note. I'm sorry, you know, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. The, uh, it seems to me that the darker windows were part of the original intention because it's a house built to look older, and those those style older houses they tended to do the monotone mono color, you know, windows frames matching or being close to the you know, less contrast. Is what I'm yeah, for. yeah. This is a 1963 construction, right? They're presently, like, um, production. The windows themselves are actually blue. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, the um, the dividers and the the window sashes actually yeah, are presently blue. But it's it's, it's, uh, it's just a matter of contrast, blending in that sort of thing that 
trying to match the older look as opposed to yeah. showcasing, showcasing the windows themselves. I would agree, I would agree. Dark color tends to be more forgiving. I think it's um, more correct. So there is the frame also that will be um, reconstructed, and that can be done in the the brown, the dark brown, whatever that color is, bronze. Um, the, the trim, in keeping with the original that we have right now, the frame, yeah, the, the current, frame of the window. Yeah, is the a current dark is a man. It's called it's a Benji more. It's a uh, manor brown is the color. So the a question for you, itself. John and Sandra. Well, you, you identified three. You have the four over four, or I should say eight over eight. I'm sorry. Which one are you asking for? You say whatever meets approval, and you have three examples. What, what do you guys uh, We ask? have six over six. Oh, Is it six you, over six? Yes. Yeah. So what are you asking for? I mean, you, you show a, you show a uh, eight over eight in the. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. The, the uh, actually, you know what the front of there, the eight over there, eight. There yeah, are different. House. Yeah, there are different windows different in the windows. house. They're right. different. The heights in the front are different than the heights in the back. So you sure. have eight over. So eight. what are you asking for? We're exactly what we have. Okay. It, it just it, did you know what you submitted? It just said whatever meets approval, and you're oh. showing three. Oh, I, I was I didn't know that. Yeah, you know that was me trying to go. All right, I'm, I'm gonna yeah, figure so, this out. Yeah, the, the intention is to re replace each of the it's windows with the way they are. So, like for like, like pardon? for like, like for like. Well, you'll replace like each for like. Like, like for like. like for yes. Like. Great. There Thank you. Go. Okay. Sorry about All the right. confusion. No, no worries. And and your your preference is the sandstone. The sandstone Just to be for clear. the window itself. The window itself, the okay. sashes and the, because it does come in that dark bronze as well. I think I saw. Um, so color. the frame um, can certainly be done in the dark bronze, which would mimic more of what we have right now. Right. Um, just I, I, I'm, all right. It's kind of a, I don't really want blue. Yeah, the current. Yeah, exactly. Do, right. What we don't know the technical term of the dividers for the simulated divided light. Right now, the individual pane, whatever that word is, the, the frame inside the, uh, the grating, if you will, the right mountain? now it, external is blue, okay. which is kind of, mm. we're, we're not going to replicate that. We don't want to replicate blue. No. Okay. Any other commissioners? Nothing, right. nothing of an applicant. No. Okay. All right. Hearing none. Any uh, any other anything else from us, John and Sandra? No. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anything from the public wishing to comment on this application? All right. Hearing none. Jen, we'll bring you back in. Thank you, Mark. We'll move on to application seven zero two seven. The application at three six two Middletown Avenue involving the addition. Mr. Lucan, you need to unmute. Oh. If you go down, drag your cursor down to the Let bottom. There you go. Yeah. Perfect. Hi, good evening. Uh, my name is Michael Lucan. My wife and I are proposing to change our, um, our deck to a new addition as um, I, we were discussing last December. And um, I have uh, with me tonight, Mike Jakopsik from Custom Construction Plus from Vernon, who will be heading up the project. Uh, Mike, are you here? Are you, can, are I you... think so. Okay. Can you hear me? Yep. Yeah. Can you your name right, right. and business address for the record, please? Yep. Mike Jakopsik with Custom Construction Plus. Um, right here in Vernon, Connecticut, 77 Industrial Park Road, Vernon, Connecticut. Great. Tell us about the project. So, so yeah, so I know Mike, um, you know, kind of ran a preliminary by, uh, it's uh, basically a, you know, a rear sunroom, if you will, extension of the kitchen. Um, we've done some extensive drawings as um, I believe that everyone's seen. Um, we're going to use Anderson 400 series windows um gonna be a glass roof glass triangle windows in the gable end we're going to be using um, a product called Phipon 
not sure if anyone's familiar with that. It's a polyurethane product, really, really excellent wear, has um, a, a nice mold to it. They can mold it to whatever characteristics we're looking for. Um, I think, I mean, as far as we're using the uh, existing deck as the dimensions for the rear of the project, which is uh, 10 by 20. And from the exterior, I think that's pretty well sums it up. Um, it's going to be the same elevation as the existing first floor. And I think, I mean, that's... About I, have a, I have a I have an image that if you wanted to, to as a kind of a, a refresher of uh, the one I showed last December to show you the kind of look we're trying to achieve. Um, if you want to, if you want to do a screen share, I can do that. Please. What sure. While we're doing that, I'm looking at the east framing and the east elevation, and it shows um, the double hung windows, I guess, is what the bottom windows are proposed. And then a transom style light above that. And then in the peak, is that a window or is that just a- Yeah, that's a gable. That's gonna be two triangle window, glass windows with that grill pattern inlaid in the glass. Okay. So do you see the, this image that I have up on the screen now? No. no. I did. I, I clicked the uh, screen share. Okay, why is that? On? And then the um, you're proposing the Anderson window, and they make those transom lights that match. Yes. Yep. They're what we're going to probably end up doing is you know more of a custom window to fit our demand. You know everything equally for us, if you will. Um, so everything's completely custom. Um, you know, just to get equal dimensions across. And it's the Anderson 400 series, uh, white exterior. Okay. okay, so can you see these images now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So and this the, is the look we're trying to achieve. And, and the these, these, are the, these are the architectural drawings that Mike was just showing you. Now. Those are, We've got those. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we have all those. And so the roof is actually three panes on each side as well. Correct. And is there a door on the other side that we can't see? No door. No, nope. everything's everything on the left, you know, I'm going to call it the left and right from the rear is is the same the same look with the windows. No no do, no doors to the exterior. Okay. Two win two windows, two awning windows on each side, and then one, two, three, four across the back face. Your five pound salesman is going to love you. <laughs> Absolutely, there. I'll tell you, they are great with with custom product. You basically send them. You probably may have not have seen it, but we sent you send them what we're trying to do and they will literally mold everything for you in a situation like this. I mean, I'm sure you can, everyone can appreciate if you were to try to do it, you know, out of wood or whatever the case may be, I, you'd spend two months just creating moldings on the exterior. So it's a pretty exciting option they offer that you're right. It's, they are going to love us, but uh, it's a, it's a nice, long-term uh, approach that, you know, is going to last me for sure. And is My, it going to be painted white or white, whatever the Fipon is white? Yeah, it comes like prime and we're going to paint it all an exterior white finish. I, I think have we're going to- one concern, uh, it's just aesthetic. I mean, overall, the, the whole thing seems to work well. My one concern is with the size of the triangle window above the essentially ceiling line. Yep. Um, what is the framing structure used for the roof? Yep. Great, great question. Um, so this picture doesn't necessarily depict exactly what we're going to do. We're going to have a support post coming down the center that's going to that's going to land on a header. And there's going to be actually two triangle windows, um, you know, down the, there's actually going to be two triangle windows up in that gable with a structural st support down the center. 
I guess I, I just want to. I'm, I'm good with the structural support. My concern yep. more is is what are you using for framing for the roof itself? Because so, look, looking at your picture, yep. it's quite light. As in, as just visually, it doesn't look substantial. It doesn't look substantial enough to support the roof and the amount of trim that you have up there. So I don't know whether it's something that I'm missing in the drawing or or you, are you doing some magic? So, well, it's a little bit of magic, but um, it's we're working with a, a glass company that's going to engineer the whole roof and the structure um, with LVLs and, and potentially steel as well. And, and I guess, you know, maybe having that with us would have been helpful to, to give you an idea of how the whole thing comes together. But everything from the walls up is structured um, and from with an engineer to support, you know, basically mm -hmm. an LVL that's going to go, you know, from the end of the gable into the house, call it, you know, two, two 12 inch LVLs supported on a yeah. header coming across perpendicular. Um, I think, I think on, my question know, is what are the, what's the dimensions on the rafters? Do you have those? Uh, JT with it. That's a great, uh, no, I can tell you this, that rafter is probably, I mean, it's, it's definitely, it's probably, you know, 11 and a half feet. I would guess no, no. Tw 12. How, how deep is the rafter? From two the by, top. Two by 10, two by 12, two by six. So basically that, I mean, that's another great question. There are going to be glass panels and he engine, engineers it accordingly. You know, it's all, it all gets engineered. Mike, and I, I mean, to Mike, be perp go ahead. Um, I, it, the, the, my understanding is JT up in, in Maine is it, they construct this, the roof up there, and then they bring it down in pieces and they construct it all together. That's just a, this is like a separate company that's going to be doing this. They specialize on the roofs. And then Mike is the, the point person down here. So that mm -hmm. that's essentially what it is. They, they actually build it up there. Okay. And, and haul it down in pieces. That's, and then they, that's they cool. put it together. My question still yep. is how deep is the rafter? That, and that's a great. If, if I look at the back of the house from the top of the roof to where the window starts, how much space is there? I would say, I mean, and I'm going to give you an educated guess because that's really where I'm, where I'm at with this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say it's probably an eight inch rafter. You know, if you're looking okay. at the depth of the rafter. Is going to be about mm -hmm. an eight inch rafter. And like I said, he's engineered, he's in the process of engineering it, you know, obviously to meet all the structural codes for the town and, 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 and all that stuff, obviously. Um, and he's, you know, he, whatever the engineer, you know, kind of designs, I guess, is basically what we're going to do. And right now, like I said, I'm just, I'm giving you a guess and just being perfectly honest with you that it's, you know, approximately probably an eight inch rafter. So just so you understand what's driving my question. Sure. Okay. Is you have, and I assume basically you designed the bottom half of this thing, everything from the ceiling down, and that all looks well proportioned. Okay. The, the columns that hold off the whole entablature around the, uh, the ceiling height looks substantial, looks like everything fits well. It's just that the roof structure looks lighter than the rest of it. And I just would hate to see Mr. Lucan end up with a, with something that looks slightly awkward because somebody didn't ask the right question. And yeah. I'm, trying to be the, I'm trying to be the one to ask the question is, have you really thought about is the roof substantial enough for the rest of the structure? Yeah, I mean, my, my answer to that is yes. I mean, the company we're working with is probably the best in the business. So, yeah. um, you know, I hear your point for sure. Yeah. And, and no and, question that will stand up. It just yeah. will it look right. Well, no, like I said, yeah. Happening. And I and I hear and I and I appreciate your question. He, like I said, um, the company we're working with on the glass roof, I mean, he's over and above into the proportions and making sure, as you said, it looks 
aesthetically proportionate to the rest of the structure. Okay. Um, you know, I'm 100% confident about that. And like I said, I wish, you know, I'm a little mad at myself that I didn't have a little more of a detailed spec for that. But once we kind of take them to the engineering standpoint, we kind of own it. And I was trying to, you know, be mindful of uh, uh, Mike, Michael and Wanda's money, I guess we'll say, you know, prior to getting to that point. I mean. Nope. I understand that. Thank you. Thank you. Does anyone else have any questions for this applicant? Just a quick one. I remember the informal uh, discussions we had way back when he brought the idea to the commission to get advice. And I seem to remember there was some mention, I don't know if this is still part of the plan, not that it needs it or not. Is there still any um, ideas or, or plans in the future to put anything between or on the house and the new addition that will help blend or match it? You know, Around the house, yeah. The, so yeah, the, the, if, I'm, I'm, if I understand you correctly, we are we are planning on making some other changes around the house to make it look more um, so that it all blends in together with the rest of the house. But this is the okay. big project. This is the, right. this is the reference point. Am I understanding you correctly? Yeah, yeah. I was just I didn't know if you meant to include any of that into this proposal, and it wasn't mentioned. That's all. It's, I was just wondering if that was still. Yeah, in there's play. there's one there's one part. Um, a uh, change in the, what was passed about three weeks ago. There's one uh, the front door. I'm proposing a change in the front door to and and, and I have some ideas. We haven't even had these. Um, um, our architect hasn't come up with the drawings yet, but I just wanted to show you an image to kind of give you an idea of what it would look like. And, and it blend, we, my wife and I, feel that it would blend very well with this, um, with what's what's occurring on the east side of our home. So, sure, sure. I was just making sure it was still in the scope. Yeah, that's all. Thanks. Thank you. Everybody else, all set? Any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, we'll move on to Mr. Lucan's next application, which is a, an amendment to a prior 7028, um, the front door at 362 Middletown Avenue. Okay. Um, are, you, are you still, am I still on screen share? Nope. Okay, I'll go back. Do this again. Okay. Okay. So currently, the this is what our our uh, front door is looks like. I'm off full screen here. Um, and uh, we're proposing. This is again. This is the reference point. Um, the what we had originally passed was what a what passed about three weeks ago was this door um, with the four windows on top. What we're pro proposing is is a six panel door, and the reason why we want to make the change, I mean, it's exactly the same door that we that we passed about three weeks ago, but it's just with six panels um, and not the four panels with the four windows on top. And this is this is the kind of look, um, but the, obviously it's not the same color that we're going to go with. But <clears throat> if you look at this part portion right here um, and this half circle, there's a similarity there. Um, construction wise, architecturally, it's very, very, we feel this very similar. Um, and we feel that it will go very nicely um, because this right here, there's a lot we could do around here by removing this and actually, um, you know, going with, with this design instead, um, we can go actually a little wider on our, in, in the area around the door and above the door and then put something like this. Uh, it would look very similar to the, uh, the new addition. So does anyone have any questions or comments regarding the door itself, which is all we're looking at tonight? Yeah, just the door. Like I said, we haven't come up with the architectural drawings and so that, that's, the, that's a future um, you know, uh, meeting. Historical meeting. Mr. Lucan. Yes. The, the door is a fiberglass door or steel door? Fiberglass. Okay. Thermatrue. Yeah, I don't care about the brand. I just, uh, yep, that's fine. So the reason what's driving my question is I'm looking at the picture that you have in front of us with the uh, raised panels, the way they're done on the wood door. 
Mm -hmm. And I just wanted to, I know that that can be done in fiberglass and it's very difficult to do in steel. So um, yeah, if, you're, if they're doing fiberglass, they'll come quite close to that look and I think you'll be satisfied with it. Okay. Yeah, we feel fiberglass is a great material. Um, I know, I, the, the, you know, the idea of going putting wood up there um, has been, as we've discussed that, but due to the fact that the uh, quality of the wood, the grades of wood have, um, I mean, I'm hearing some different things about the quality of the woods, and they're not, they're not getting any better. And, and fiberglass seems the best, to, seems to be the best direction to go in, and um, for long term durability, insulation, um, you know. Perfect. Thank you very much. Anyone else have any and one, one, one more, again, I'm just, we're just, just discussing the door, but everything around the door would be FIPON also. So I just wanted to bring that. We're not on that today though, because yeah. that's yeah. not before us. Yeah. Um, anyone else have any comments on the door itself? Hearing none, any question, any members of the public wishing to speak in favor or against? Hearing none, I'll take a motion to close the public hearing and open the public meeting. Make a motion. I'll second. Thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Moving on to the public meeting, application 7024, the application for 112 Church Street. I'll make a motion to table. I'll second. Uh, appreciate the work they're doing on the home. We just don't have all the information yet. And I think he uh, understood what we were asking for. I'm excited about the project because the house has in fact been neglected for a while. I'm concerned about the um, stairs with that many, we don't know how many risers it's gonna be. And when it's relatively low profile, I think that granite looks fine, but if we end up with six stairs, it's gonna look crazy. Um, and maybe that'll give them a chance to come in with whatever the uh, railings are gonna be too. The other surprise of the night was the removal of that window in the back. And I'd like to kind of get a better look at that because I wasn't looking for that detail, um, you know, looking at the house for this particular application. So I agree that a quick table and bring them back in two weeks is a good idea. All those in favor say aye. 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 Hearing none, the motion to table is approved. Application 7025, the application for 183 Spring Street may have a motion. I'll make a motion to approve as submitted. Second. I'll second. Uh, failing there, the minimum impact on the district because of the, where it's located. Um, again, whatever, they, he proposed two colors that would be appropriate for that location. I think it has a minimal impact on the district as well. Um, I think it's going to blend in the location. It is just fine. Any other comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the, motion, the application is approved. Uh, the following application, I'll um, again have Mark take over. All right. Can I have a motion on application number? 7026-22. I'll make a motion to approve with the stipulation that the window light divisions shall be duplicated as existing in all windows. Okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, some of the, is there a second? Yeah, I second. Okay. Um, there was some concern about the uh, color of the sashes themselves, uh, whether they're sandstone or dark. I think this is a colonial revival revival, uh, which is quite well done, I think, overall. However, uh, the house is, doesn't read as a true old house. Uh, it's got a number of elements in it that do give away the fact that it was built well into the 20th century. Um, so I don't think um, trying to go with a dark sash is inappropriate or go, uh, going with a light sash is any more appropriate or less appropriate than going with a dark sash. So I think I, we should leave this up to the homeowners. Did we need to uh, call out the screens or are you going to leave that alone? 
my take on, on it is leave it alone, but that's, I, I'll open to any suggestions. You're talking about full or half screens? I, I'm not. Yeah, really I think I think they had uh, mentioned that they were in favor of full screens. All right. We don't want to stip it. I guess we don't. No, no. I, I, my, my take on it is, the window is appropriate either way. Full okay. screens are certainly practical. Half screens are certainly appropriate, especially since the early screens when they were beginning to be used were simply small frames with a screen put in in the lower sash so mm -hmm. either one works okay as far as can, can they can they vary depending on what side of the house like suppose they that would be awkward well if yeah. they have windows that they want to pass something through perhaps at some point and they can't do that no. okay. screens are the, always the screens remote. come out fairly easy okay all right i didn't know that yeah yeah, yeah. no they do all right too. Any other commissioners? No. All uh, right. I'll, yeah, I'll, I would I'll just, call. The, go ahead, Chris. Well, I would just say I would like to see the darker color only because I think it pulls off that that attempt to reproduce the old look. Um, is it a deal breaker? Not necessarily, but not, I think it works better for the overall effect that the reproduction was trying to make when it was new, even though it is a sixties. <laughs> house but chris the house has blue windows in it now right what well, they're darker eh, that's all no, i'm saying they're royal almost royal blue i would call it. it's an odd blue yeah but that's all i'm just yeah oh, chris you have a good point on robinswood there is a home della ripa's down kind of the gambrel colonial that is almost the tan house and the darker windows it's almost flip-flopped of what they went with the black windows oh. and um but yeah, I, I think these are going to be a little darker. They're not really tan. It's called sandstone. It, I know we had a sample down at Town Hall, uh, a little darker than than a tan. It, yeah, both. And a flat I, color, I, too. It's I agree. A, both will work. I agree. Yeah. I, just have, I just have a preference that I would mention just for the effect. No, thank you. All right. I guess I'll call the vote. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed? Hearing one none, the, the motion passed. Was there one abstention? That's just me. Oh, Thank you, Mark. You. You're welcome. <laughs> um, we'll move on to application 7027, the first application at 362 Middletown Avenue for the addition. Make a motion to approve as submitted. I'll second. I think uh, what, Ms., what the Lucans have come in with is a very interesting addition. Um, it cannot, it, it's a sunroom. It's an elaborate sunroom. It, I it think work, I, I, have a little well. I have a little bit of concern about how elaborate it is with all the additional trim work in the um, post. But as you said, it is, that's exactly what it's meant to be. Yes. So um, I'm willing to give it a shot on this house. Yeah, I, I think the elaborate, it's on the east exposure too. That really is the least sight line that we'll see uh, with those triangular windows. Uh, it, it, it is a, and, and Vasek's point, you know, when you're talking about the roof, you're right. I mean, that's going to be pretty solid <laughs> to 12 5 pitch, all glass. Um, interesting to see how that'll look. I, I think if you look at, I mean, where the, it looks like where the styling is coming from is from a lot of late 19th century solarium uh, greenhouse type things, and they were over the top elaborate. Right. Uh, yeah. The, the thing that stuck off the back of Mark Twain's house is fancier than the rest of the Mark Twain house, which is over the top in itself. So, exactly. Uh, it'll be fun. Yeah, and I think it's already influencing future plans or existing plans that are being changed to to blend. And that was my big concern. I didn't want it, not, not that I, you know, it doesn't matter what I want, but I think that it would fit better with some, with slight blending, subtle blending. And I think it, that's the direction he's going. I, I, I really like seeing it. Agreed. 
Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, hearing none, the application is approved as submitted. Application 7028, the application for the front door at 362 Middletown Avenue may have a motion. Make a motion to approve as is submitted. Second. Uh, I don't think it needs a lot of discussion. I think um, we know that the plan is um, to maybe dress up the exterior around the door, but I think that the plain door is perfectly appropriate in this situation. Certainly at this point, a six panel fiberglass door is entirely appropriate for that house. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none, the application is approved. Moving on to the approval of the minutes from February 22nd. I was absent from the meeting. Linda, do we have who we need for approval? Yes, everyone else was here. Okay. Make a motion to approve as submitted. Second. Second, Second with our usual um, thanks to Linda and to Kim for their fine work. All those in favor say aye. 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 Hearing none, the minutes are approved. Moving on to public comments of general interest in the historic district. We do have some tonight. Um, Mr. Lucan, do you want to talk about your future plans for around the front door or do you want to wait on that? You have to unmute. You're muted again. You're on mute, sir. Okay, can you hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, as uh, thank you, Kim. Um, as I was discussing before, we were just we're talking about my wife and I were again we're just throwing ideas around. We're talking about um, um, that um, building that new front the, the, to blend better with the new addition, and also um, we've been thinking about overall the overall picture, uh, the big picture, um, which is probably going to be two two to three year project. Um, is you know do we want to do we want to put larger frames on all the windows? Um, and to blend in well with the rest of the house and, and, and get rid of, because right now, currently half of the house has shutters, the other half doesn't. So if you look at the north side and the, and the east side of the house, there's, there are no shutters, vinyl or plastic shutters. And the idea was uh, currently that the, the, the framing around the wood is actually pretty narrow. Yep. And we were considering the idea of going some, with something more of an elaborate look on a framing around the windows and, and replacing the, uh, the vinyl, eventually replacing the vinyl siding with a more durable, like uh, not wood, but a, a wood-like product. Um, and then uh, that's the long-term plans um, around the garage doors. We're you know, and of course the garage door we discussed before the pictures I showed you, um, that will tie everything together very nicely. That, that I just wanted to throw that out. <laughs> um, that's a lot in one night, but the uh, the shutters are, are, it seems like more and more that they're not, they're not gonna be a good fit for the kind of look that we're trying to achieve. Um, so I just wanted to throw that out. If you have any ideas, we look forward to seeing, you know, what you propose in the future. We, um, love the cementitious board or the hardy plank. Um, it gives you crisper lines. Um, mm -hmm. so we look forward to seeing what else you have down the road. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Kim, do we have one other? I see one mystery. Do you, um, I think. I'm hoping that that's um, my next one. Um, Mr. Velas, is that you? You have to unmute. I know he was having issues with his iPad, so. Um, um, if the, we have one other person who we can only see a phone number for, if you wish to participate, you need to drag your cursor to the bottom of the screen and unmute yourself. A little microphone will pop up on the probably left corner and you just click on that to unmute. Otherwise, we're probably gonna move on. I have his paperwork I can share with you. Um, let me see if I can get to it here. And is that, is that the phone number you have for him though, Kim? Do you know? Because it could be I just- don't, I don't have an application or anything from him. Okay. He stopped in today, gave me some paperwork, um, and let me bring it up. And at least we can, while he's trying to maybe figure out his 
unmuting. Um, I'm asking him to unmute, so I'm hoping that that's what we're doing here. Um, anyway, so the, oops. What is that? Okay, so this is what he asked me to share. Can you see this? Yep. Is that Linda? Linda's not on mute. Uh, yeah. So, Kim? Yes. Kim, 3750 is the number I have for Steve Felix. Oh, perfect. Okay, so let me. So if he can unmute himself, we'll be in business. Yeah, let me. Um... And he's saying, why the hell do I have his phone number, right? Yeah, that's <laughs> I was, uh, I was just looking, trying to look it up too. Because it's listed under Glastonbury Restoration Company. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I also just admitted um, one of the Padula member yeah. family members. So maybe they can talk about it. Let's hope. I just lost my screen completely. So let's. All right, I'll bring this up for now. Um, what is the location of this project, first of all? This is, um, oh gosh, somebody help me out. Um, Middletown and Mill? Middletown and Mill, but what's the number? It's like 380 something. Oh, okay. We know the house that they proposed to tear down. Is Middletown Avenue. I'm hoping somebody's going <laughs> to join this anytime now. Um, okay, so this is a barn garage that they are proposing. And this is completely artificial. It's um, it's the facade so that it looks like the house it's being, they would like to dismantle um, to keep the facade looking the same. With an, as, with an attached garage. With an attached garage. So um, it would be, these are the drawings that Mr. Bielitz gave to me today. Um, and he also told me that, um, they will probably remove these two windows and do three windows straight down. down so that it would be sort of like this. Okay. Oh, somebody, hold on one second. Uh, Ms. Petula needs to unmute herself or you need to unmute her. I, they have, they have control to okay. unmute themselves. Oh, Damien's in. Are they joining? Okay, so anyway, this is what I have and if- So Kim, uh, the line drawing you have of the second one you have there, which now went away. Well, I'm trying to get to see if somebody will ask. I'm, I'm trying to ask the people to, right? to unmute. And again, so now we have Anna Padula appearing on the screen. Um, Ms. Padula, if you wanna participate, you need to unmute yourself, which is accomplished by dragging your cursor to the bottom of your screen. Uh, a bunch of things will pop up, including a microphone that you need to click on to unmute. It's not going to be successful with me having this conversation by myself. No, I think we'll um, postpone this to the next meeting. Um, I don't, you know, I don't think it's meaningful to have a conversation, which could be happening just amongst ourselves. Right. So um, we'll wait until we've got people here who can participate. Um, Kim, do we have? Do you have any report for us this week? I don't have a report for tonight. And how about correspondence? I don't have any of that either. That sounds good. Really? Uh, a question of general interest. Sure. Is there any chance we're going away from Zoom? I have uh, not been notified yet. I know we were through March. Um, we were supposed to be all the way through March as Zoom. Um, and I have not gotten any notification otherwise. So. Well, like I'll talk to Bonnie tomorrow and see. Yeah. I, mean, um, I know 
that they were in person briefly, other commissions were, and then went back to Zoom again. So I will inquire. Well, the, what's driving my question is, you know, Wesleyan, who I work for, has finally said no more masks. Yeah, necessary. It's, I think it's time. So, yeah, I, I think the numbers have dropped sufficiently in most places where even places that are quite cautious are. I think this last yeah. round, everybody either got their booster or got COVID. So I think we're probably all set. <laughs> we can probably go back in and, person. And that would make situations like the Padulas and Steve Bill is so much easier. Yeah. I and he dropped off. Yeah. yeah well. Okay, I'll take a motion to adjourn. So move. Motion. Mark, <laughs> second. Come on, people, we want to get wrapped this up. Thank you, everyone, for another successful evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.